So, what is the government going to do to help support businesses and households? Well, we know for a start that households will be protected with an energy price guarantee set at £2,500 a year for the average bill. For the next two years, that's a lot better than the 4,000 it was estimated to go up to, but still, it's significantly higher, almost double what we were paying just about a year ago. The Prime Minister has also said she will reverse the national insurance rise and scrap temporarily scrap green levies on energy bills to help with the rising costs of electricity and gas for households. Businesses like this and others are not protected by that energy price guarantee. Uh, we know the government plans to support them for six months. We don't yet know what form that will take, but we're hoping to find out in the next couple of days. You may have noticed over my shoulder some of the rather tempting menu options on offer. It's a good deal up there, £4.40 for the meal deal. And uh, the reason that they've tried to keep prices as low as they can is because they know that the customers they serve are struggling with household energy bills and the rising cost pressures. Uh, Chrissa here works with some families that are finding it particularly tough at the moment. Just explain who you work with and, and why the pressures are so much harder for them. So I run a, a national organisation called Sunshine Support and we support parents and carers of children with special educational needs. Now we know the children with special educational needs and disabilities perhaps use more water, electric, gas um, because of their actual needs. So our costs as families of children like this are much higher anyway. So, so what would you like to see the Chancellor announce? What would help the families that you're working with day to day? There's an awful lot of costs that we incur that we don't need to incur that the government should be paying for anyway. So I'd like better funding for local authorities to see them actually undertake their legal duties for our children, which will reduce the costs for parents as well. Because the government would say that it's produced the energy price cap that limits how much households pay for gas and electricity. It's giving the £400 discount on energy bills. All of that it sounds like it's not enough. It's not enough because an awful lot of parents have to give up their jobs. So they're on low incomes or perhaps they're not on any income at all. So they're receiving benefits. So it's just not enough for our families. Okay, Chris, thank you.